Dude's really good that explain that. But it's like, that's why, because English bands, when they interpreted the blues, how they misinterpreted it was the best shining uh, crown achievement of the blues people. How they could misinterpret it's not a question of how they can misinterpret a three chord pattern like that. It's, it's beyond me, but because it's England, they have things like waltzes where a lot of their timings before rock and roll were three, four, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sugar Plum Fairy, Sugar Plum Fairy, one, and two, and three, now. You know what I mean? And that's what it was, unfortunately. So, so like, when they heard, like, rock and four, four, which will bar, it was so liberating to them. They're like, holy shit. Yeah, we're busting out of this Viennese tango that we've been stuck in forever. You know what I mean? This, this endless Anglo, uh, you know, restrained, uh, corrected, upright, stiff upper lip fucking dance mode into like foot loose. For lack of a better term, niggerly. That's what the that's what the um, the Anglos would call it, and that was the, the initial source of like you know. That's why it's the devil's no, because it's in, uh, you know, 4-4, four, four, I don't know. That's just how Anglos thought at the time, and it's just old-timey. It's the same thing with hip-hop, if you really want. That shit is just satanic. So that's why I like it. No matter how much it sucks, it seems like there's some kind of redeeming value, I guess. Because it's like Mata Hoople, all the young dudes, all the young dudes, pay the fucking union dues, motherfucker. Hey, to be in the goddamn Elks Club with me. I'm a senior, I'm a street fighting fucking man. I paid the dues for you. So won't you, <laughs> won't you pay that buck forward sometime? You know our usual song, that's how it goes though, dude. Uh, yeah, I got my face tattooed, so fucking what, man? I, I thought I was gonna die next year. That's, I was just like that at their age, 24 years old. I thought, like, I won't be alive next year. Let me put my dick in their ass. Totally, dude. 24 years old. What? For what? Drugs? Money? Sure. Don't give a fuck. And then you find out you're going to live because they give you money to survive. And they set you up in nice little fucking spots to make you thrive while you're dying. And you're like, I, dude, I got tattoos on my face now. It's kind of hard being a family, man. You know... Imagine Sid Vicious at 35. Imagine me with tattoos on my face next year. I'm going to be 27, dude. And I'm standing at the proverbial 7-Eleven with you. That's how it goes, dude.